guys, what's up? So your mom's Diva here, and welcome to another video of mine. I was about to say welcome to the Sim 3 Pets, which, by the way, I'm not sure if I want to upload Pets next or University Life next. I'm kind of debating right now. But anyway, so today I'm going to help you stop crashing and stop glitches in your Sim 3 game. Now, I know everyone's, like, on The Sims 4 now, but many people play The Sims 3 on their downtime. Many people record The Sims 3, or many just prefer The Sims 3 over The Sims 4 anyways. So, today I'm going to help you delete the cache, you know, fix the data prevention, and troubleshoot. Very easy, you know, There's, it's not crazy, it's not hard, it's not like, you know... When you call EA and they tell you to delete a certain file and then you're just like, what? What do I do? No, it's none of that. It's super easy. So today, I'm going to start with the cache. Okay. So we are going to delete our cache, not our cache money. We don't want to delete that. Okay. So go under Documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 3. And you will see so much cash. There's five packages that we need to delete. And it's CAS, part cash, compositor cash, grip cash, sim compositor cash, and social cash. And now you can delete these by dragging them to the recycling bin or just right clicking on them and deleting them. But who has time for that? Not me. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I just drag it to the recycling bin because it's just faster and more easy to do. Woo! Now, I deleted my cache a couple of days ago, so I don't need to redo it. But after you do this, it'll delete the packages. But don't worry, it won't mess up your Sims game. Because when I first did this, I felt like it was going to mess up my Sims game, but it won't. The packages will reappear as soon as you launch The Sims 3. Simple. So simple. Next, I'm going to teach you how to disable the spyware protection. Now, this is very important because this is one of the main reasons why my Sims game actually does not crash anymore because of this antivirus thing. So you want to click on your virus and, and now I understand not everyone will have the same antivirus as me, but generally it'll say the same thing. So. You want to click on your virus and spyware protection, click on your real-time scanning, and turn it off. It's that simple. Now make sure that you're not in the game and you do this because that's not going to affect it. You have to be out of the game and then turn it off for, you know, it to really make a difference. It's just something I noticed. And now my Sims game runs flawlessly. Like there's nothing wrong with it. Next I'm going to teach you how to troubleshoot. Now you want to click on the base game if you know that's all you have downloaded or any the latest expansion pack or the latest stuff pack. Now I I uninstalled into the future just because I felt like why? Why? I don't know. I just don't like the stuff pack if I'm being honest. It's just not my cup of tea, but I'll eventually reinstall it, you know. Just because Okay, so I wanted to do like a review or let's play or something. All right, next we're going to click on troubleshoot compatibility on the latest stuff pack. And since I don't have um, Into the Future downloaded, it, it'll be the movie stuff pack. Next, we're going to click on troubleshoot program. And what problems do you notice? You can click anything, but I click the program works in earlier versions of Windows but won't install or run now. That's the main one that I click usually. And it'll ask you, which version of Windows did this program work on before? And just click Windows 7. Now, you will see a difference in speed. It'll go super fast, no lagging at all. But another thing to mention is that it will change the graphics a little bit. It'll still look fine and dandy. At this, the bottom area where it shows the needs and everything, everything will just be a little bit darker. But it's nothing noticeable. Like, if I were to record a video of it, you guys probably wouldn't even notice, so. Yeah. <laughs> so, next, we're going to go under settings. And this is really important if you have a Windows 8 computer, because this definitely helped mine a lot. 
So now my Sims 3 game does not crash. All right, next we're gonna click under settings, go to our control panel, our system and security, our system, uh, advanced system settings, advanced system settings, and under the advanced tab, we are going to click under performance settings. Now we are going to click on data execution prevention. And now originally it'll be on turn on DEP for essential windows programs and services only. We are going to change that to turn on DEP for all programs and services except those I select. Sims 3, Sims 3 starter application, Sims 3 launcher starter application. All right, now you wanna click add and here it is right here. So you wanna click on ts3w.exe <laughs> and Sims 3 Launcher W.exe and Sims 3 Launcher no S3 Launcher oh it really doesn't matter just just one of the launchers and now usually most people most people don't even have a problem with the launcher it's the game anyway so it really don't matter which one you select just Make sure it's the Sims 3, Sims 3 Starter Application, and Sims 3 Launcher Starter Application. Now, this is what I choose. Okay, now, obviously, you know, you can choose whatever, but this is wor what works for me. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I worked um, on a couple of episodes of Pets. I think I have about five recorded right now. So definitely videos are going to be pouring in soon. So don't worry about that. Now these have greatly affected my game. Uh, it's one of the best things that I found. I was, I honestly felt like a lost cause when my game was just, you know, not running as smoothly as other people. And you know, not everyone wants to buy like a thousand dollar, you know, computer to record gaming videos. So, and I understand that. But me, I'm definitely saving up for like an Alienware or something. Because it's definitely something that I want. And something that I just feel like will be better for gaming. And either Alienware or like some other high priced computer or whatever. And some people like to do that. Some people like to save up for that and get that. But I understand that not everyone has, you know, not everyone can. So these are just some steps that I take to really help my game out. <laughs> so now my Sims 3 game does not crash up to date. Make sure you delete your cache at least once or twice a week. Definitely helps with all the glitches. Once you delete your cache, you need to go into your options in the Sims 3 game and make sure that nothing changed. As far as display goes, it won't change that. But it may change some of the options or some of the aging. So make sure you go back and check and make sure that everything is still there the way that you had it before. And if it's not, just change it. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. In the uh, description below, I will leave links to Sims 3 um, system requirements and what each of the files mean of the cache. So that way you're not lost and like, wondering what you're deleting and not knowing what you're deleting anyways hope you guys have an awesome 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 day and i will see you guys in the next video which i'm not sure if it'll be university life or pets but it'll probably be pre pet pets it'll probably be pets because i just miss pets so much and recording it was just a blast anyways you guys have an awesome 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 day and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys